Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In NumberPy, you can create an empty string array using the numpy.empty function. This function creates an array without initializing its values. You can specify the shape of the array and the data type, which in this case will be a string type. Tutorial, creating an empty string array in NumberPy. Step 1, import NumberPy. First, you need to import the NumberPy library. If you haven't installed it yet, you can do so using pip. Then, you can import it in your Python script or interactive session. Step 2, create an empty string array. You can create an empty string array using the np.empty function. The key parameters are shape, a tuple indicating the dimensions of the array. Type, the data type of the elements in the array. For strings, you can use U or S for Unicode or byte strings respectively. Here's how to create an empty string array. Code example. Explanation of the code. np.empty, 3, 4, type equals U10, this line creates a 2D array with 3 rows and 4 columns. The U10 specifies that the data type is Unicode string with a maximum length of 10 characters. The contents of the array are uninitialized, which means the values will be random and may not be human readable. We then print the array, its shape, and its data type. Important Notes Uninitialized values, the values in the empty array will not be zero or empty strings, they will contain whatever values were in memory at the time of allocation. It is important to assign values before you use them. Use cases, creating an empty array can be useful when you plan to fill it with values later, especially in performance-sensitive applications where you don't want to initialize the array immediately. Conclusion Using np.empty allows you to create an array of a specified shape and data type without initializing its values. This can be particularly useful in performance-sensitive applications where array initialization is unnecessary. Just remember to assign values to the array before using it to avoid unexpected results.